welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to bring you my very, very first back to school video. Leave comments of when you're going back to school, fill them up because I love seeing whenever people go back to school because it kind of makes me either happy or sad of when I go. Also, like this vid for more back to school videos. I do enjoy doing them, but I would like some advice on what type of videos you guys want me to do and also how much you want them. So hit that like button like 500 times if you can. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I'm trying to focus. I don't know if my face is focused right now, but I have this shebang that I always do. You can see me talking on it. It's kind of weird. All right, so I'm gonna start off. Oh! <laughs> I got the durable one inch for each class, six classes, and they're all in different colors. I've used these all throughout high school and I found that they actually last pretty well. But if you are doing a subject filled with activity and lots of papers, I wouldn't recommend the one ends for sure. These are my folders for each subject. I got the five star folders. Green, orange, white, red, poppin' blue, and navyish blue. I got me a locker mate. Our lockers are tremendously small at my high school and so I have to make the best of every room. It kind of just separates the bottom section so you can have a section underneath and then something on top. So this should come in handy. Some wide ruled notebook paper, 150 cal. I also really do like the colorful notebook paper but depending on my teacher some of them actually don't even like that paper at all and they'll sometimes even give you a lesser grade if you use like neon paper so I gotta stick with white this year. The extremely annoying calculator for graphing. Guess how much this thing was? Guess. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. This much. I really hope I use this this year. I'm taking pre-calc and apparently this is required. I got me some utensils for coloring. I got the Crayola Super Tips washable markers, 20 of them in here. Uh, I always have some weird projects that require coloring, so had to get these. Also the Crayola colored pencils, 36 count. And this big old thing of Sharpies is actually at a reasonable price at Walmart, so. I got Mechanical Pencils by BIC, BIC, I guess you'd say it. I always get these every year, even though they kind of break pretty easily. I just always use them. Insertable plastic dividers because I always find myself needing these for almost every single class and I always forget them. So they're nice and color coded. A pencil case for inside of my book bag and it is by Studio C, the hot to trot bag. It's kind of cute. And for me locker, I got the locker mate magnetic mirror. I've never had a mirror in any of my years of going to school, but I thought it might be handy for in between class periods. I got more pencils that actually don't break. I don't know why I got those other ones, but these are the Papermate Wright Bros mechanical pencils. I also got the Papermate Flare Vivid Colors Crisp Lines pens for grading and whatnot. I don't know why I'm hunched over right now. Some note cards, 100 of them in here, they were each 99 cents each. I got the Elmer's washable glue sticks, shatter resistant ruler, I believe this is like 39 cents and I love these rulers because they're flimsy and they can, you know, work around every situation. Some scotch tape, I actually don't ever really need this, but I like to give this to my teachers at the beginning of the year for some brownie points can't wink, but I just winked at you. And last but not least, leech, <laughs> I got a five star and composition and other random notebooks for each class. For English, I got like a bigger notebook. I got a composition notebook for math notes and I kind of try to fit each and every class. Those are my school supplies of the year of 2014 through 2015, but I'll have another 2015-2016 one next year. If you're really looking forward to that. <laughs> if you enjoy this and if you are 
just ready to move on with life, not necessarily excited about school, like this video. Also, my next episode of hashtag 17417 is going live tomorrow if you're watching this on Wednesday. This episode is super adventurous and I'm really excited to see it. I personally haven't seen it yet, so let's just go ahead and get prepared to watch it tomorrow on the 17 channel. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in my next episodes of BTS with Chels and I'll see you next time. Deuces. So you should probably have your toes back around where this leash is plugged in. Yep, perfect. High five, doing great. Yeah, and then the most common mistake, try to guess, try to guess, try to guess, try to guess. They don't bend. No, they have their foot off to the side, which we call standing on the rail. So if you stand on the rail, what happens is it sinks the rail and then the nose goes down and then everything tanks. And it's so rad. So what I'm gonna do 